Hi, I'm Susan Brown and I want to welcome you to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a really simple, delicious alkalizing soup that actually builds bone. One of the major ingredients is this clam. And in the end I'm going to explain to you why this clam might be especially bone building. This soup was developed by my secretary, Jan, who is really a terrific cook and she showed me this very simple soup that's very tasty, very alkalizing. All we do is we take two baking potatoes, we make them into cubes. I like to leave the skin on the potato because it's very near the skin that you get the highest potassium content of the potatoes. And remember, the whole gist of an alkaline diet is a high potassium diet. So we take those two baking potatoes that are, that are made into cubes for quick cooking. We transfer them to the cooking pot. A little saucepan um, is fine. We put the potatoes in the saucepan. Then we just simply add the other ingredients. Onions, in practically every tasty recipe we have onions. This is one large onion or one medium sized onion um, cut up into pieces. We put the onion in there. Carrots also help to give it a little color and add a nice bit of beta carotene. We put a half a cup of grated carrots right in here. We also put garlic and what we're doing is we're mincing two cloves of garlic as you all know, garlic has so many health benefits. We just simply, you can, um, you can mince it yourself with a knife if you want, or you can use a garlic press, whatever you like the most. I don't have any problem just chopping up garlic, kind of grating it up a little bit like this. Then we take the garlic, put this in the saucepan also. And so we have the onions, the garlic, the potatoes, we have the carrots. We always use a little bit of salt. This is a half a teaspoon salt. I like sea salt. We just put that in there. And the final ingredient are the clams. These are actually uh, canned clams, and you'll notice the juice is in here. They're minced, so they're very easy to chew because clams can be kind of tough. We put the clams right along with the juice in the saucepan. Now, our goal is to actually cover the potatoes with liquid. And if you look at this, you'll see that the potatoes aren't quite covered with liquid. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little more water. In this case, maybe a half a cup of water. And we're going to set this to cook. We're going to set it to boil. It only takes about 15 minutes. The potatoes will become soft. The vegetables will cook up. The seasonings will mix together. And then we will take and mash the potatoes. Just, you know, leave some of the potatoes in chunks, but stir it up, mash it up a little bit. And in the end, then what we're going to do is add some milk or half and half, just a little bit. You can use a milk substitute if you like. In this case, we're going to use a milk, about a half a cup to give it a little um, more hearty flavor. Okay, well, let's put it to cook. Now, while the soup is cooking, let me take a minute to explain to you why I consider this to be a great bone building soup. First off, of course, we have a lot of alkalizing components. Potatoes really alkalizing a lot of potassium, much more than bananas. And if you keep the skin, you even have a greater amount of potassium. We get organic potatoes, try to use the skin. Avoid any green parts under the skin. That's quite a toxic substance. Carrots, organic, can also be alkalizing. Onions, of course, great alkalizing. And the same thing with garlic, a great alkalizing spice, or very good for you. So all that's alkalizing. Now clams, you might say, but clams, they're a protein, they're acid forming. And indeed, all proteins are acid forming. We need a certain amount of protein. Actually, we need a lot of protein for bone. So we're happy to use clams as our source of protein. But why are they especially bone building? Well, this is very interesting. I am a great fan of traditional Chinese medicine. They had a very high science of food and nutrition. And they understood that each food has a particular vibrational quality, a certain energy to it. And that energy harmonizes with certain parts of the body. Clams, as it turned out, are very highly praised in traditional Chinese medicine as a food that can actually build bone. They say that any, any sea life that can create such a hard shell, whether it's lobster or clams or shrimp, they're very good for bone. And we look at it, we say, whatever these guys are doing, they have a real ability to extract calcium and to make a very strong calcium compound just from that seawater. 
The detail of this is that clams are held to strengthen the kidneys. And in Chinese medicine, the kidneys are what control how many minerals stay into the body and how many minerals go out of the body. So we're eating clams, not because, only because they're tasty and a good source of protein, but actually because they have a special energy, a special essence that helps to fortify and strengthen the kidneys, which in a very real sense are probably one of the great controllers of bone health. So let's see, I bet our soup's coming along. Let's give it the final touches. So I just checked and the soup is ready. I take, take a minute to make sure that the potatoes are well cooked. And if there's any big pieces of potato, I mash them up. Um, that looks great, looks terrific. Then I add this half a cup of milk or, or half and half, whatever you like. And if the soup is warm enough, you can serve it just like that or you can warm it up again. In this case, the soup is still very warm. So I would get ready to serve it. You'll see it makes a very, very lovely soup. You can see here a lovely soup. And it's very warming, very hearty. In this case, we're going to serve it today with carrots and asparagus to give a little color. And remember, we always like two cups of vegetables for lunch and two for dinner in order to get that complete alkalizing diet. This is Susan Brown. I hope you enjoy. I hope you try this wonderful potato clam soup. And I hope you build lifelong better bones and a better body. Until later, good eating.